Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a supernatural mystery film, Odd Thomas. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Odd Thomas was born in a small town in California. His mother is a psychic and she's put in a psychiatric hospital because people believe she has a mental disease. Thomas has the same power as his mother. In order to protect himself, he hides his ability from others. With time passing by, his psychic power grows stronger. Thomas is not scared of what he is capable of. He thinks his power is a blessing and often uses it to help the lingering dead. One day, he meets a young girl spirit who was murdered. The spirit leads him to a car parked at the roadside. It turns out the driver is the murderer. Thomas pulls his car key and beats him up for the poor girl. In most people's eyes, Thomas is an odd boy and troublemaker. But for those innocent ghosts, he's very kind-hearted. Thomas always captures the murderer before the police do. A detective who knows Thomas well appreciates his help. So every time, he would make a false statement to help Thomas cover his power. One night, Thomas has a bad dream of being surrounded by a bunch of faceless people in bowling shirts. Suddenly, a gunman appears and shoots them all. Those faceless people cry for help. One of them carries Thomas home. The next day, Thomas wakes up in his bed and realizes it's a warning of how he dies. The ghost can't talk, so Thomas doesn't know much about the details. He grows up without parents and leaves a simple life. He is a chef in a fast food restaurant. The owner of the restaurant likes him because of his excellent cooking skill. He is in a relationship with a girl he grew up with. Thomas can see not only human spirits, but also evil creatures called Bodach that feed on carnage. If they gather somewhere, it means there will be a disaster. Long ago, Thomas had a friend who was also a psychic. Bodach found that he could see them. They then possessed a driver and hit him with a car. When Thomas sees some Bodach wandering around in the restaurant, he calms himself down and observes them without being discovered. Every time a Bodach approaches his girlfriend, he would cleverly interfere. Soon a Bodach is suspicious of him and stares at him closely. Though scared, Thomas continues his work, pretending that he doesn't see it. More and more Bodach gather in the restaurant. Thomas knows that killing is coming. Lots of people are going to die. When he finishes work, he wants to follow the Bodach, but he's stopped by a friend called Viola, who is a single mother with two kids. She tells Thomas she has been having bad dreams and hopes Thomas can help her. She also dreams about faceless people wearing red bowling shirts. But Thomas doesn't tell her the truth. He just asks her to relax, saying that it will be fine. After saying goodbye to Viola, Thomas continues to track down the Bodach with his psychic magnetism. He comes to a shopping mall and sees his girlfriend who was working there. His girlfriend knows about his power. Although she can't see ghosts, she's happy to help Thomas gather information. Thomas notices some Bodach hovering over a man with yellow hair. Thomas gives the man the nickname Fungus Bob. Fungus Bob leaves the mall with two tubs of ice cream. The Bodach stop following him and return to hell. According to what Thomas knows about Bodach, they will not leave until the killing and harm are finished. Feeling strange, Thomas follows Fungus Bob to a house outside of the city. When Fungus Bob leaves the house, Thomas breaks in and is attracted by a wooden door. The resentment coming behind the door is so strong that it almost freezes the air. Thomas walks into that door and finds a passage to hell. Sensing the danger, he runs out of the room immediately and hides behind another door. Soon, countless Bodach storm out of the room through the passage. Thomas holds his breath and stays still. He calls his girlfriend when the Bodach all leave and returns to that room when it's back to normal. On the wall, Thomas sees lots of pictures and newspaper cuttings about murders. Through the files he finds in the room, he realizes Fungus Bob is planning a terrorist attack tomorrow. Fungus Bob's accomplice appears outside of the house. Thomas escapes through a window before he is discovered. In order to stop the attack from happening, Thomas tells the detective what he found in Fungus Bob's house. The detective trusts him and assigns a new officer to investigate right away because Thomas's warning is always right. Later that day, Thomas meets his girlfriend for dinner in a church. He sees Fungus Bob coming to them angrily, so he closes the gate and hides in the sacristy with his girlfriend. Fungus Bob breaks into the church and destroys the sacristy. Thomas escapes with his girlfriend and informs the detective, hoping the detective can keep an eye on Fungus Bob. Later, Thomas comes to a bowling alley under the lead of his psychic magnetism. The staff here are wearing the same shirts as the faceless people in his dream. He calls the detective immediately. The detective sends Officer Simon there. Simon doesn't know Thomas has a special ability and thinks it is a prank. Without a choice, Thomas ignores the officer. He then comes to Viola's house and asks her to recall her dream. 
He sees a vague scene through contacting Viola, but he can't figure out where the attack is going to happen. Time is getting short. Thomas suggests Viola leave the town immediately. When driving home, Thomas stops halfway and wants to give a tongue massage to appease his worrying girlfriend. Right then, they hear a woman screaming. Thomas rushes towards the woman, but when he finds her, the woman is killed by a bald man by accident. The bald man explains to the police that he saw the woman was chased and attacked by dogs. He wanted to shoot the dog, but he shot the woman by accident. Those dogs are kept by Fungus Bob, so the detective gives an order to capture Fungus Bob. Before leaving, Thomas gives the detective a metal pendant. He dreams that an accident is going to happen to the detective, and the pendant can protect him. Thomas returns home and finds a gun on the floor. Fungus Bob is shot dead in his bathtub. Thomas realizes somebody wants to frame him for the murder. He recalls what happened before and discovers the one that chased him at the church was Fungus Bob's spirit. In fact, Fungus Bob has been dead for a while. Thomas moves the body to an abandoned prison and hides it in a gas chamber. On his way back, he sees countless Bodach running around in the town. He has never seen so many Bodach in his life. He is absolutely terrified. In the meantime, a hitman knocks at the detective's door and shoots him as soon as he opens the door. Luckily, the detective is wearing the pendant, so he escapes death. While the detective is receiving treatment in the hospital, Thomas returns to Fungus Bob's house and tries to find more information about his accomplices from the computer. The movement in the fridge gets his attention. To his shock, he finds some female's fingers and a skull in the fridge. Thomas is going to call the police. Suddenly, Fungus Bob's spirit appears and wants revenge on him. Thomas jumps out of the window and escapes. The house then explodes, with all the evidence burned to the ground. Thomas has to find evidence elsewhere. He goes back to Fungus Bob's body and finds a tattoo identical to Simon's. The tattoo, P.O.D., means Prince of Darkness, representing worship towards the demon. Thomas rushes to the mall using his psychic power. All the staff in the monitoring room are killed. Thomas knocks the killer out with a baseball bat and takes the killer's mask off. To his surprise, the killer is not Officer Simon, but the new officer. Thomas now realizes Fungus Bob has two accomplices. Their plan was interrupted by Thomas. They killed Fungus Bob, who was tracked by Thomas and attempted to get rid of the detective. The new officer's girlfriend saw files about the attack, so they caused an accident and killed the girl. Bodach don't hover over Simon and the new officer, which means Bodach discovered Thomas's psychic ability long ago. They just play with him all along. Thinking that his girlfriend is still in the mall, Thomas grabs a gun and rushes into the mall. There he sees Viola who didn't leave the town and the staff from the bowling alley. His dream is to become real. The door to hell suddenly opens on the roof of the mall. Bodach climb out of the door and take up the whole mall in no time. Thomas is looking for Simon and hears people screaming. People rush to the gates, but all gates are closed. A masked gunman fires an automatic weapon at the crowd. Though Bodach try to stop him, Thomas manages to fire at the gunman and kills him. After that, Thomas turns to the ice cream shop to check on his girlfriend. He's relieved to see his girlfriend is unharmed. Before he can reunite with his girlfriend, he sees the new officer's dead girlfriend is calling at him, and the Bodachs are still there. Thomas realizes it's not over yet. He then takes the gunman's mask off and finds he is the bald man who shot a woman by accident. It turns out there are four members in Fungus Bob's team. Simon is the leader. Thomas follows the new officer's dead girlfriend to the parking lot and discovers a van packed with explosives. A Bodach possesses Simon who is leaving the lot and makes him shoot at Thomas. Thomas gets shot, but he still drives the van and leaves the mall. Simon clings to the outside of the van and shoots at Thomas. This time Thomas escapes the bullet and jumps out of the van. The van crashes and the explosion kills Simon. Later, Thomas awakens from his coma in a hospital. His girlfriend has been keeping his company. Thomas becomes famous for saving many people's lives, but he would rather spend more hormone time with his girlfriend. They have a great time together, enjoying food and watching Daniel CC movies, which seem far better than their hormone games now. One day, the detective and his wife knock at his door. Thomas finally faces reality. His girlfriend was killed in the mall. He's too sad to accept the truth. His girlfriend only stays in this world for Thomas. She doesn't want to see him alone. Though heartbroken, Thomas lets his girlfriend go. He believes one day he will see his girlfriend again. Before that, he is going to fulfill his responsibility to help the living and the lingering dead. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.